Good morning, y'all. So, um, I can finally see, and, uh, man, I love this spot. I've hunted it quite a few times, and, um, I've killed, uh, I've killed one good buck out here. I've had a couple opportunities at some really nice bucks as well. Um, actually, me and Danny were sitting in this exact tree I'm in, and had two really nice bucks come by two days in a row, so... So normally this this field that I'm overlooking is it's all gold berries. Well, not all of it, but there's a lot of gold berries. And um, one thing I'm noticing today is I'm not seeing uh, actual berries on the on the bushes. Usually when we get to gun season, there's there's a fair amount um, of ripe gold berries. They turn black when they're ripe. There's usually does feeding in here on those gold berries, but I'm kind of wondering if uh, they're going to be in here now. It's still really good bedding habitat. And boom, somebody just smoked something. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, I guess that means they're on their feet, so I got to keep my eyes peeled. But yeah, there's, um, there's a lot of security cover for them to bed in, so it's definitely not a spot I'm just going to give up on right away, um, and I can still see a really long ways, so um, it's a good observation sit, and we always like to start with that. Who knows, maybe maybe a buck will show itself. I, there's some really good ones on camera. I had a camera about 40 yards away from me here. I can shoot a doe. I have a doe tag, but um, I don't think I'm going to because I still have another hunt that I want to do um, in a couple weeks. And, uh, I can only kill two more deer, so I think I'm just going to wait for a buck unless I don't see much until, like, the last day. And then I think I'll be willing to shoot a doe. So, anyway, I'm going to go quiet and glass the crap out of this field. Dude, that is a big deer. And he didn't go 30 yards. Oh my God. <laughs> that was the first buck I've ever shot. Woo, what a rush. Money, that deer is dead. Tagged out, baby. You shot one? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I saw him go what? down. Alright, so it's been a pretty uneventful sit. Finally starting to get a bit of a breeze. It has been stagnant and hot. I haven't seen any deer or hogs. All I've seen is a little family of um, bobcats. And, um, I don't know. This spot it just has a lot of habitat diversity. and there's a rub right next to like 10 yards away so 
not given up on it quite yet. But I only have one platform with me today, so I'm gonna take down my setup. That way I can go check the cameras that I have out here. I've got three cameras I gotta check. I can go check those out, make a decision about where I wanna hunt. And if I do decide to come back here, I can just use the preset to pull my rope back into the tree and get up here pretty quickly. So, that's the plan. I'm going to sit here for another half hour until about 11 o'clock. Then I'm going to start making moves. Alright, what's up guys? So out here for the afternoon I've actually been sitting here for about um, I don't know a couple hours so I've been up in the tree since like 2 30 it's already five o'clock um, <clears throat> still haven't seen any movement I decided to come back to the same spot that I hunted this morning because none of my spots are really there's really not a whole lot going on at either one of them. Um, there's a couple bucks. Uh, there's definitely some good bucks around. But they haven't showed up on our camera in like two weeks. Seems like the rut kind of died down. And um, <clears throat> seems to be a bit of a lull right now. There was definitely some stuff getting killed this morning. In fact, somebody shot a buck on the other side of the creek that's behind me here, so. Um, and most of the activity that I've had in this area has been happening in the evenings, so I'm hoping to see something move. Good morning, y'all. 
lot better today. So I was able to get out of bed and it's a really cool morning. It's, um, as you can see, it's like gray, overcast, really heavy overcast. Uh, there's not a lot of wind. It's kind of wet-ish. There's just like morning dew on everything. Yeah, there's a really good chance the deer are going to be moving today. And really, they could be moving any time of the day, too, so. I've heard some things crunching around in the creek behind me, so. Hopefully there's some deer, and they come out here. But, um, yeah. My wind is kind of blowing off to my south into this field, so. It's keeping it away from uh, some of the trails that they, they've been walking. Saturday now, so we're officially into doe killing time. If a doe presents itself, it's getting shot. Um, honestly, anything legal at this point. So if I don't see anything this morning, I'm probably gonna get down, take all my stuff, and potentially move over um, about 400 yards to my west. Anyway. Shooting light just started, so. Anything can happen. We'll see. I just got scoped like a motherfucker. That sucked. Holy shit. Oh, fuck me. Holy shit.
Yeah, see that shit? Look at that. Bleeding pretty good. Guess that's what I get for filming my hunts. So I have my tact cam on uh on my gun. And uh I guess I was a little close to the scope. That tacticam takes up like that much space of your relief. So I was like this far from it. I forget how hard that thing kicks. I just smoked that buck. He, he dropped right there. He dropped right behind that palmetto tree. So, hell yeah, that's a good buck. Oh my God, I'm so excited right now. Oh man, I got messed up. All right, well, I'm done hunting, guys. I I said it, I was like, even though I could still shoot a doe, I said it, I was like, I'm trying to shoot a buck. If I shoot a buck, I'm done. So, I'm gonna go down there, get this buck. Buck down, baby. Yeah, bro, I got scoped so fucking hard, though. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I forgot you were hunting. Alright, later. Good luck. Alright. <clears throat> that was my setup. Let's go find this buck. So, he couldn't have been more than 40 yards away when I shot at him. He was, he was actually, you can see this dead tree right here? He was right next to that in this thick stuff, but obviously I could see through it because of the, um, I was up high. I was way up there. Um, this is his rub, clearly. And there's actually a trail going right through here that I think he was going to come down. You can see there's a pine tree right there, a little young one. I shot him right next to that. So I guess just for the fun of it, I'll walk in there and, and blood trail it. But I'm like pretty darn sure he's laying dead right over here. So here's this trail, which seems like this is the trail he was about to use probably to get to this rub and I said it I said it earlier or yesterday I said this rub looks like something hit it, it, it since the last time I was here so um, he, it might have been him I don't know right. thick right here yeah see there's a little game trail right here he was standing right over here when I shot him Just standing about here. I'll oh, see. Look, I guess I did have goldberries around, so I was looking for. I couldn't see him before, but that's cool. All right, let's see if there's any blood here. I think he was standing about right here. So, I don't see anything yet. Oh, but here's a bunch of hair. Oh, here we go. Here's some blood. A little bit of blood right there. Oh, yeah. Here's more blood. Right there. He ran through here. Oh, yeah. Here we got a ton of blood right here. Oh, yeah. It's full of bubbles. Oh, yeah. He's dumping blood. Dumping blood. Here we go. I ran through this thick stuff. Oh yeah, there's, oh my God, it's so thick. I don't even know how he went through here. Um, okay, well, I'm, I'm just gonna go around. This is just ridiculous. Kinda curious which way he went though. There's obviously a bunch of blood right there. Oh, there's blood right there. So he went plowing through that. You know what? I'm just gonna plow through it. Good lord. How did he get through this? He just, it's crazy. They just run through stuff like it's nothing. 
I'm not even looking for blood right now. Jeez. Right, so I came through here. Ow. It's just like thorns and crap here. All right, so here, blood, lots of blood. He ran right through here. Lots of blood, 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 lots of blood. the blood anymore. Look, he's got to be laying here somewhere. There he is. Smoked him. <clears throat> Actually, a different buck than I thought it was. Good little six point. Well, if you count that, five point. But uh, sweet. Smoked him. Absolutely smoked him. What's up guys? All right, so I killed this buck this morning and now we are at uh, Adam Steele's house. In case you guys uh, don't remember from the last video, if you need any processing done while you're in Central Florida, Adam Steele's the man. I'm gonna put his phone number on the screen, like right here. Shit, there's a dog. There's his, his wonderful wife, Leslie. Are up there. Okay, awesome, thank you. All right, so we're doing something a little special today. You guys keep saying that we don't do enough catch clean cooks. So we're doing uh, we're doing something fancy. Yo, Adam, Adam, real quick. Tell us what we're doing real quick. So, so what we got going on? So this take is this. the buck that I just shot this morning. We're gonna take this fine, fresh ham. Uh, we made some tikka masala. And we're gonna mix that with yogurt and slather this thing in yogurt, wrap it in cold fat, cook it on a 900 plus degree tandoor oven. I can't wait to see what what that turns into. Let's do it. This distinguished, distinguished gentleman right here is is Nick Mankin. He's our number one hater. <laughs> he, hates, he hates Swamp and Stomp so much. <laughs> Wait, so tell us about this oven real quick. So, a tandoor oven is basically a clay urn. Maddie, you're gonna burn a lot. Well, of over this. 900 degrees. That's pretty badass. And we'll take it in and out, in and out, kind of like a. So, how long will it take to cook this whole deer leg? Well, we'll start shaving off outside as it cooks. Okay. And serving it. I'm excited. But the whole thing to mid rare, maybe 40, 45 minutes. We're gonna drop it down here in a minute. Get that bottom cooked, and then we'll put it in these other holes. And lower it, raise it, lower it, raise it. Should be based itself. Probably take my boat, drive it straight to Midway. Hopefully. That's got a hell of a crust. You know, I want to try something. Oh, oh. oh, that's fucking good. That's That's the pretty part right there. Look at that. Oh shit, look at that. Oh my god, dog. Your, dog so like, your dog was just like, like this oh. is my favorite part! Eat that string though, that string will fuck him up. Yeah. No string for you, Maddie. There we go. Yeah, so, look at that. Look at we'll that. throw it back in, cook off the rest of it. The catch clean cook. Let's get a little taste test little here. Little tandoor little oven, little tandoor oven deer leg. Here. Let's see what we got going on here. Man, that was good. Now yeah. lie about it. Oh, I don't have to lie about it. That is incredible. <laughs> that's, that's that is so good. Oh my god, look at that like 
the marrow's like that's, that's spitting. The money shot. I gotta zoom in on that. Look at that, boiling right out of the marrow. That's beautiful. Money shot. Hey, look at me. Steel's quality wild game processing right there. I'll put a phone number up if you no, guys want. No, don't put a phone number up. <laughs> They're too full. Reservation only, we're full, go away. Call them before you drop off something, but you want the best wild game processing, this is the man right here. All right, y'all, that was a hell of a hunt. Um, like I said, you know, I just had a feeling with this overcast that we had that deer were gonna be on their feet and that buck came sneaking in. I mean, he was gonna walk right to 15 yards, but um, I didn't need to wait that long. He was about to go through some really thick stuff. And uh, he gave me a broadside shot, 40 yards, and I drilled him. So um, it's number four for the season, three bucks, one doe. I still have two more hunts planned. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If, uh, if you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and uh, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Tell your friends about the channel too, you know. We've noticed that um, 97% of our viewers are not subscribed. Um, so do us a little favor. It doesn't take you any time. Just hit that subscribe button and, uh, you know, it really helps us out um, and get our numbers up. So we appreciate y'all. And uh, hopefully we'll be seeing you guys soon at some upcoming events that we're going to be planning for the off season. Um, but for the remainder of the season, good luck to all of you. And we'll catch you guys next week. Peace.